Hey everyone and welcome to GT Online Changes and Additions for the week of May 23rd to May 29th, 2019. For this event, a brand new set of adversary modes were released, set in the missile base they infiltrate in the Doomsday Heist Act 3 finale. The adversary modes range from Slasher, Resurrection, Every Bullet Counts, and more. There are 9 in total, each paying out double money and RP this week. In addition to that, Smuggler's Run Cell missions will earn you double rewards for this week, along with the Juggernaut and Rhino Hunt adversary modes. Now, if you are very desperate to get your KD up, you're in luck because Rhino Hunt is literally a KD farm if you're on the tank team. It's one of the worst adversary modes in the game in my opinion. Shooting range challenges in both ammunition and your bunker will pay out triple RP this week. I don't remember the shooting range being that lucrative to level up to begin with, so this isn't that great even though it seems like it is. But if you have yet to do the bunker shooting range challenges to hold more explosives, then this is the perfect time to do it because you'll get more RP for your time. Probably the best bonus this week, if you own an executive office or you decide to buy one this week, you'll get $250,000 for free. Who doesn't like free money? For t-shirts this week, we actually have two of them. The first one is the Coil USA tee. It has an American flag, but instead of stars, there are Coil logos instead. Not a bad design, much better than what we usually see. And then, starting tomorrow, you can get the white Dixon Wilderness tee. On to the discounts, there are a lot of good ones this week. First of all, special cargo crates are 25% off, very nice. Then we have hangers and renovations at 40% off, bunkers and renovations at 40% off, two very important properties to own. The bunker is an amazing way to make money, and the hangar you need to store all the aircraft that you're about to buy because all smugglers run aircraft is 35% off. So vehicles like the Starling, the Pyro, the Seabreeze, the Hunter, the Rogue, the Rogue is a very good entry level plane, it's very cheap, especially with this discount, so if you're looking for somewhere to start, you don't have any planes yet, let's just say, then I highly recommend the Rogue, it's got everything for a starter plane that you'd want, it's fast, it's got some armor, it's got good weaponry if you're good with the bombs, and it's pretty agile. Other discounted vehicles include the Mobile Operations Center and its renovations and upgrades at 40% off. Knowing what we have now in the game, I would probably hold off on buying this. When gun running first came out, this is a very good vehicle, and still is for its defense purposes. But now we have vehicles like the Terabyte, which also happens to be 40% off this week, along with its renovations and upgrades. The Terabyte is much more worth your money, in my opinion. It allows you to store and upgrade the Mark II Oppressor. You can launch resupply missions, which is good especially for the import-export business because you don't have to go back to your office to launch the mission. And on top of that, you have a missile system and the drones, which are very unique. And not to mention, the vehicle itself is still very tanky. So yeah, definitely get the terabyte over the MOC if you were debating on which one to buy. A few other good vehicles that are discounted that caught my eye are the Thruster Jetpack. Very good for free mode missions where you have to pick up the objective. You can just swoop down and take it. The Half Track, it's got a bulletproof front window, which makes it very hard to get shot out of. And lastly, the Scramjet, just because it's a fun vehicle to use. Oh, and the vehicles I just mentioned are 35% off, by the way. Anyways, that is all for this week's event. It's pretty good overall. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like, as well as subscribe to my channel for more guide and PvP-related content. As usual, the links to the newswire will be in the description. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.